Y'all say I just hate that shit, man. If you're going to be gay, just come out with it, man. Ain't nobody going to be mad at you. Niggas don't have love for you, man. Trust me, man. It ain't hard, man. Just come out. You're going to feel better. You know what I'm saying? And you niggas, just ain't, I don't know what to say, man. Just quit. If you ain't gay, stop wearing the skinny jeans, man. It, it ain't doing, it ain't doing you right, man. You ain't hood, man, wearing skinny jeans. I'm sorry. Niggas don't look at you like you hood. That's why y'all niggas shooting niggas. You mad. <laughs> niggas ain't looking at you like you hood, nigga. You can't run with a gun in your ass too tight, nigga. I'm sorry. Come on, man. Could put guns in your ass. Hey, yeah, I seen this shit on the dude, man. When, they, when this nigga had, what was that, a 357 in his ass? Niggas had a, I mean, come on. Now, that nigga gay. If you can fit a gun in your ass. Come on, man. I ain't even, hey, you could have a gun in your ass. Nigga, come on, man. You gay. This nigga had a 357, snuck it past the police, was up in a jail cell with it, nigga. Motherfucker reported that this nigga had a gun. They said that he got it in there through his ass. Hell, nigga. <laughs> Talk about he ain't gay. Bitch, you gay. You had all types of cucumbers in your ass, nigga. You was gang raping, nigga. <laughs> He all oh, about, I swear, man. It's some fucked up shit out here these days, man. I swear, man. The way I ain't teaching y'all kids how to be gay. Quit letting your kids listen to that nigga, man. And them new boys, all the rest of them niggas. Hey, man, go back, nigga. Bump some pop, nigga. <laughs> Even bump the biggie, nigga. Bump that old shit. Get some suave face. Some ghetto boys in you, nigga. Y'all niggas need to man up, man. What the hell, man? All y'all old heads need to snatch these kids up by the jeans. And say, bitch, what the fuck you doing, bitch? <laughs> man, y'all asses up, man. Hey, man, quit buying your kid women. Quit buying your kids this shit. Because it's in style, man. Quit hey, quit showing your kids ass off, man. Quit. For we be for for straight people be a stink. Stop. Alright? You're gonna be a stink like the dinosaurs. Alright? Stop. I mean, it's cool these days. I was on a metro one day and a little thirteen year old hoe talking about that's my bitch. I mean, these bitches, these little girls and shit, they dyking it, man. Little niggas, they dyking it these days. Hey, man, we better wake up. Y hey, 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 it ain't they fault because y'all and y'all kids wear this shit. You know what I mean? It's acceptable. Like, my mama accept that shit. It's acceptable, man. I got to stop that shit, man. I mean, I don't got nothing against it. I still don't. But, hey, if you can't get mad because your son gay if you buy him the gay clothes, I'm going to be all the way 100. Stop. Stop doing it to your kids. Quit making your kids gay. Quit letting your kids listen to Lil Wayne and these new boys. I mean, you could bring that gay shit on that shit. Niggas kissing niggas in the mouth and all that shit. It's not hood, kids. It's not hood. Niggas sucking on the lollipops. It's not hood. You start. The shit is not hood. I'm going to keep it all the way 100. It's not hood. I mean, it's going to be so fucked up. If it is a guy, he's going to have a, have a gay having to split this shit up. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, he gonna be a gay Jesus. <laughs> he gonna be a gay Jesus walking on water. He gonna have a Bible in a minute, nigga. <laughs> he gonna have a Bible in a minute, nigga. A gay Jesus walking on water, man. <laughs> Talk about Jesus himself, me. For real. <laughs> Moses gonna be walking around putting motherfucking uh, wood in the ground, splitting niggas' asses and shit. <laughs> I would tell y'all, man, in a minute, gay people gonna have a motherfucking, motherfucking Bible, man. Okay, I see the Patriots just made it to the Super Bowl. I'm waiting on the 49ers. The 49 game should be coming off. I'm finna turn it on there now. 49ers gonna win, and we gonna beat the Patriots. We don't give a fuck. That's what's up. Go red and go. You know what I mean? Go red and go. <laughs> anyway, stop it, all right? But we have a gay body. Fight. Stop it. I'm going to keep it up with this. Stop that shit, man. We got to do. We got to stop it, all right? Please, stop it. Anyway, what else I want to talk about before I get up off this motherfucker? I don't know what else I want to talk I just want to talk about, you know I mean? I, I guess I'm talking about my kids, man. I love my kids. I love them so fucking much, man. I love them. I wish my kids could grow up and be whatever they want to be. I mean, now we got a black president. I can honestly tell my son, we could be the next president. I mean, how many people been lying to their kids for years and decades and centuries about that shit? Now we can honestly tell the truth to our kids. You could be a black man's president, man. 
Just look at that Obama. She made you stress the yard for us, man. And you got a fine ass bitch, you know what I mean? Michelle, hey, that bitch is, that's a real, now that's a nigga. She more a nigga than Obama is. You know I mean, that's a nigga. That bitch like she'd get out there and fight a bitch. Hillary, watch out. She might be running for president and knock your ass out, bitch. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's a bad bitch. I'm going to keep it all the way real. Shout out to Michelle. Obama, uh, what's her, ah, damn, you know that bitch last name. Shout out to you, mom. You, hey, first lady, shout out to you. Hey, you saw. You get it good. You get it copy. You know what I mean? Ah, this shit right, hey, the future is in these kids, man. I mean, all these kids out here, game banking, shooting up houses and shit. Like that little house, that little girl got shot up in Winter and shit. I heard it was some young niggas that did that shit. Shot the house up or whatever. Man, what's up? What's up with y'all old niggas? I know we got a family. I know we got a lot to lose. But half of them motherfucking young kids, how many y'all kids? Be a father and snatch these motherfucking kids up. Like OG niggas, quit drinking, nigga. Quit smoking crack, man. Get yourself clean. Give these kids something to look up to. We didn't do that shit, man. I mean, I grew up in Winter. We did not we didn't hurt nobody that no one that didn't need to be hurt, man. I didn't I didn't in my era I didn't see the white man hit, hit, uh get his head rolled off to me. I mean get rolled over to his head rolled off. I didn't see motherfuckers get missing. I didn't see niggas get shot. But kids, man. Come on, man. Then you got kids shooting kids. Kid that little nine year old that little girl in that house watching TV. And now she got shot at the age of nine. I remember how old she was. I think she was nine, whatever. She was a baby, man. Stop it, man. Quit killing people out here. Quit shooting up into the people. I mean, mob this shit up, nigga. Learn some shit from those Italians, nigga. Police your hood. No innocents get hurt. Especially not nobody's family, man. If you got beef with that motherfucker, wait till that nigga come outside. Know what I mean? Hey, just like when you was a kid. Just till like his kid, is, his house is based. When he on base, he's safe. When he get off of base, you get his ass. You know what I mean? Live, think like that. When the nigga on base, he's safe. When the nigga get off of base, he's not. When nigga in his house with his family, he's safe. You see that nigga, nigga walking down the street with his family, he's safe. As soon as he get away from his family, he ain't safe. Then you can get his ass. Man, quit putting people, kids, and quit. Stop that shit, man. This shit ain't hood, man. It's not hood. It's not hood, man. It's not hood hurting kids, man. It's not hood hurting people's families. It's not, man. Stop. You know what I mean? I know. I mean, I know motherfuckers get on your fucking nerves. Sometimes you just, when you see a nigga, you just want to bang. There's a lot of niggas, when they see me, they want to bang me. But I'm hoping those niggas don't bang me when I'm with my kids. You know what I mean? Because they make that mistake and I live. And I swear, man, I'm going to take his ass out, man. And I'm going to take his ass and make a sample out of it. You know what I mean? If that was my little girl that got shot up in that house, them niggas that shot, I would kill your ass, nigga. And I would kill you slow, niggas. I mean, slow. You know what I mean? Stop doing that shit. You know what I mean? When it, hey, stop. It, it, hey, you don't get no respect from that shit. I'm not respecting that shit. You know what I mean? I know when has it changed. It's blood about all them blood niggas now. You got crip niggas over there. I was the first Crip in Winters. That's the honesty true. I was the first real Crip in Winters, nigga. I was the only Crip in Winters. It was Trey niggas. It was Waco niggas. I was chilling with the Waco niggas. I mean, I could, they considered me a Waco nigga. I was, I was the one that gave what Waco mean, wild ass crazy outlaw, because I couldn't spill Wiki, so I made a wild ass crazy outlaw. I know how it is, man. I mean, I know how it is. You know what I mean? Now they call that shit 4 and 3. But I was one of the I was one of the Waco niggas, but I was fun to, I was really one of the original Crips out there. I was the only Crip out there, nigga. Only Crip. Niggas just let me have it. But I kept it real with my locs, nigga. I got jumped by niggas and everything. But I always I never dropped my stack. These niggas to tell me they might hate my gut. But I always claim my crib, nigga. I always threw up my shotgun, nigga, all the time. I even played around with the little kids, throwing little niggas' kids, me and my nigga Lawrence and shit. Calling ourselves, uh, uh what was it? Watergate Crips and shit. Having fun with the little kids. You know what I mean? That's when we used to have fun with kids and shit. You know what I mean? Little, little niggas grow up and shit. You know what I mean? Come on, man. Now I, I look back, I see this shit, and I just want to cry. You know what I mean? I just want to cry like, damn. This shit kind of, I feel like it's my fault. You know? I feel like it's my fault. You know what I mean? I'm, I, I mean, I run crib out there. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I did. 
You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's my fault. I feel like this blood shit, I, I, I feel like it's, it's my fault. Not just my fault. I'm talking about when I say my fault, all us old heads' fault. That's why it's our responsibility to get this shit back the way it used to be. You know what I mean? Let's get this shit back, man. Let's, 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 let's let these young niggas know that this shit ain't hood. You know what I mean? They look up to us, man. Man your ass up. Don't let these young niggas scare you. Look these young niggas in their eyes, nigga. Let those young niggas know, nigga, I'm probably your daddy. You know what I mean? I'm old enough to be your daddy. Listen to me, nigga. And if you young niggas listen to this, listen, man. This shit ain't hood. Stop, all right? I love y'all niggas. Stop. I got love for y'all niggas. Stop that. Y'all get fuck you wear red, blue, black, green. I love y'all niggas. I mean, I got kids to think about. I don't want my kids doing that shit. I got all, I got majority boys. You know what I'm saying? I don't need this shit. Worrying about my boys going to die. I mean, my boys don't even know about my life. I keep it separately. I keep them motherfucking isolated. You know what I mean? I see my son wearing too much color. Nigga, I'm going to buy you the colors that you don't want You don't want to wear. Nigga, you want to be a gangster. I mean, I did that to one of my sons. He tried to be a blood, tried to make me mad. Nigga, I put that nigga in all blue. Every day, I brought that nigga nothing but blue. When you go bring one of one of these niggas, they gonna whoop your ass every time you be with them. Now that nigga don't claim shit, nigga. I, I'm the type of nigga that I walk on a block and snatch my son off and dare one of these motherfuckers to say some shit. Do you what, nigga? We be out this banging, nigga. You gonna have to kill my fat ass. But I love my kids, nigga. I die for mine, nigga. I die for whatever I love. I die for my kids and my girl. If you got a piece of my heart like my sisters, I would die for them too. Like I just told my sister, I'm tired of they ass. They out here not liking each other. We sister, fuck my deadbeat ass daddy. He got 22 motherfucking kids with his little ugly short ass. You know what I mean? We all sisters and brothers. There's 22 of us, nigga. Stop this shit. You know what I mean? We, we, that's all we got is us. Our kids don't know each other. We need to get our kids together, man. And I'm telling y'all, man, especially my sisters, we women. Y'all women. Y'all women, man. Stop it. Stop being ignorant. I know y'all might, some of y'all might get mad because I said to just stop. We sisters, man. I mean, I said we sisters. We family, man. Y'all are sisters. You know what I mean? If y'all supposed to set an example to sisters, man. Y'all supposed to set an example. You know what I mean? Our kids is looking at y'all. Y'all girls is looking at y'all. Stop. I mean, hug and love each other, man. If you want your kids to grow up and hate each other, because that's what's going to happen. Because they're going to... They gonna, my mama hate your mama, so I hate you, bitch. Then they hate each other. Then you old as hell trying to be like, oh, it's my kids. We hate they uh, husband. But it's y'all motherfucking fault. But y'all hate each other. Let that shit go. Stop. Stop all that shit. You know what I mean? That's what I tell my kids. My kids, my son be ready. Oh, I hate my brothers. I hate my niggas. Sit that shit down, nigga. That, they all you got. Your brothers is all you motherfucking got, man. You know what I mean? I can't even kicking with my brother right now, man. My brother Bob went back to jail. I mean, I didn't get to see the nigga when he got out because my mama turned us against each other. I love that nigga, man. Y'all all y'all got. At the end of the day, you and your brothers gonna be all y'all got. Those niggas ain't gonna be there for you. Your brothers gonna be there for you. I mean, there's some real niggas out there. I got some real niggas that's there for me that I look at like my brother. They always be there for me. My, my nigga Lauren. He been there for me for the beginning. Hey, Bot was there for me at a time too and shit. I don't know what happened with me and him. That's a long story. <laughs> I, I mean, I guess I should have never had a pretty girl, but that's another story. I mean, that nigga was there for me. I mean, it's a lot of niggas. You know what I mean, I watched Gon to grow up when he was kid. A lot of you know, my nigga Tudor. I mean, we had a little beef when we was in jail and shit. We went to the hole together, but that's still my nigga, you know what I mean? He found me too, you know what I mean? My nigga Rob Goodson, that was niggas, you know what I'm saying? My nigga Corey Good, I mean, that was niggas found me, you know what I mean? Rob Goodson used to call me Shug Pop, because I used to walk around with the with the eyeglasses on when I got a little older with the motherfucker, uh, motherfucker, uh, button-down silk shirt with the khaki pants like Pac in the uh, Me Against the World uh, uh, front album cover. But I was big like Suge, so that nigga called me Suge Pac and shit. I mean, that was a real nigga, Rob Wilson, real-ass nigga. I remember when I first was hustling on the block, that nigga was trying to take my shit, you know what I mean? But you know what? He was teaching me at the same time. He was trying, you know what I mean? He probably was younger than me or the same age as me, but he was on the block before me. 
He was teaching me at the same time, you know what I mean? Like my nigga Tudor, he was teaching me. That was my, you know what I mean? He was teaching me. My nigga, uh, TJ with the goals, but my nigga, man. It's a little stuttering ass, but that was my nigga, y'all you know saying? Got crystal badass. That was some real shit. Hey, I don't know how that ugly motherfucker pulled that off. Hey, that's my nigga too, though, nigga. I mean, uh, TJ with the gold. I don't know how you pull that off, because Crystal, come on. I remember when Crystal would be skinny in a motherfucker. Oh, then when she grew up, it just blew up. Pop, pop, pop. My nigga, my cousin Jody, I don't know, nigga, you fucked that up. Because when Crystal got older, pop, pop, that pop bottle. Crystal a bad motherfucker. Crystal Cox, y'all know she's a bad motherfucker now. You know what I mean? I mean, when she was just skinny, little snot nose kid running around, you wouldn't even think she'd be like that. You should have knew about her mama, though. Sorry, Gonzo, don't whoop my ass, man. Don't whoop my ass, nigga. But you know your mama was cute, nigga. She was like Miss Parker in the hood, nigga. Don't get mad at me. You know your mama was like Miss Parker in the hood. Nigga, nigga like... I wanna fuck you, Miss Parker. You know how your, your mama was shy, because nobody never disrespect your mama. Your mom was real. She was nice, man. She always she always was nice to me. And I, I got love for your mama to this day. She was nice. She was always nice to me, man. Nice to my grandma. When they lived next to my grandma, her. She was nice to me, man. Your mama always was nice to me. She even looked out for me and shit a couple of times. Even when I was home, nigga. That was much love, man. Much love for Angie, man. Love and she, I think her last name Cox. God's and mom, all love, man. She was good people and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, them, them was the days it went to. Man, I don't went down and them just throw them little went tears parties and shit. Donna and TT, Rena, Rena, Rena kids, RIP, Rena. I wish you were still here, man. You was good people too. I love spending out of your house, kicking it with, kicking it with you. you know what I mean, chilling with your son, Ron, Ron, and them. I mean, when Taz, we was all like a family back in the day, you know what I mean? People probably, some people probably don't know what when Taz is. When Taz, nigga, Rick City, some niggas just don't know. It was it was real back in the days, man. Free donuts at Mother Price, you know what I mean? Motherfuckers used to rob the milk truck and shit, get the milk and juice eggs and shit. Be in your clubhouses. I mean, we had real clubhouses. We didn't have no motherfuckers. We had real, we had clubhouses with matches and shit in them. You know what I mean? Barbecue grill. Go get your food off the food stamp truck and barbecue you with some meat, nigga. Y'all know how Tyrone Adams, y'all know how we used to do that shit, get that shit off the food stamp truck when our mama give us no food stamps and shit. Go get us some uh, meat, steal somebody grill, be in the clubhouse grilling and shit, sit back uh, with the hoes up in there, eat grill meat. For real, that's what Waco first. Everybody, real niggas don't, real niggas know this. Black bikes say we was like Waco burning text because we used to burn garbage cans and shit. But Waco was our name of our club when we was a kid. And I looked right in my clubhouse. It was, we thought it meant get your bone on in Spanish. Somebody told us that shit. But the name of our clubhouse was Waco. It wasn't no wild or crazy outlaw. It was just Waco. I ain't gonna even lie, because somebody told us Waco mean in Spanish, get your bone on. And that's what we used to do in our clubhouse, for real. Get your bone on, nigga. How I go get it, nigga? You used to have the same bitch. You know how that shit was? Y'all go hide, and then y'all be missing the wood, come back, bitch, all loose and shit. Y'all know how niggas just get it in, man. Well, I had a rant, niggas going, hey, I'm about to watch this 49 again. I just had to say some shit, put some shit out there. I um, mean, touch on the little things, these skitty jeans, man. Please, I'm, I'm begging y'all, stop wearing these skitty jeans. Hood that shit up, nigga. Be the 90s, nigga, for real. Quit looking better than your bitch is not cute. Y'all, you know I mean, come on, stop. I mean, if you're going to look bad, your bitch be a pimp, then. If you ain't a pimp, you should have got to be flossing like that. All right, stop. It's not cute. It's not good. Please stop. On that, I, I just got to say, I holler at y'all. I hope y'all like this. I just wanted to pull this shit off my chest. I'm out of here. Peace.